Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm your man, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us here at Courageous Media. Tonight, we are gonna dive down the Dax road again. I am super excited. We have listened to a couple of his songs now and they are absolutely dope, full of facts and truth. And tonight we're gonna check out Dax to be a man. Before we do, if you could please smash that like button, subscribe, share the channel with everyone you know as we drive towards 10,000. Come on, Courageous Army. I really appreciate everybody's love and support. Thank you so much, Hangover Gang and Hog Family. You guys are the ones who introduced me to Dax, along with Tommy McDonald. So now, without any further ado, let's check out some Dax to be a man. I can't hide myself. I don't expect you to understand. What? We got country Dax? No way. I had no idea. Oh, wait. We gotta change wardrobes now. Whew, country Dax. All right, we're going a different vibe now. That was totally unexpected. Country Dax. All right, let's back this up. All right, this could be something different. I was expecting rapping Dax, but no, here we go. Let's do it. I can't hide myself. I like his voice. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Okay, I have a feeling this is going to get deep This is going to get deep fast Man, alright, we're going to be talking about I had no idea what the title was going to talk about I thought it was going to be something else, but now we're, we're going to talk about some truth about what it's like to be a man. You know, it looks like we're going to talk about what, what we got to go through. They don't care about what you know. It's not about what you feel. It's what you provide. And as a man, as a father, there are things you have to provide. And it's not just money. You got to be the leader inside that home. You got to be the spiritual head inside that home. You got to be the protector inside that home. Man, when my little girl runs up to me, wow, just melts my world. But then there are times I, I live in abject anxiety over, am I doing all the right things to protect my little girls and my little boy? Yikes. Okay, let's back this up. We'll be talking truth tonight. This could get deep, folks. You feel but what you provide inside that home. Yeah, I know this life can really beat you down. Wanna scream, but you won't make us out. Got so much weight that you've been holding, but won't show any emotion as a man that goes and spoken that we can't cry when life gets hard. Unconditional love for Ah, uh, he's got that right. Man, life gets hard. As a father, as a husband, you gotta pick yourself up and move on. You gotta make it happen. You can't sit there and cry, and puddle of tears. You have responsibilities that no one else can do. No one else can be the protector in that home. No one else can be the true provider in that home. No one else can be the spiritual head in that home. That means sometimes we got we to gotta cry in silence or in a, alone in our room when no one else can see. Facts. All right, he's spitting facts. Now let's back this up. Let's keep going. Cry Wait. when life gets hard. Unconditional love for women, children, and dogs. We know that no cats, though. No, no cats. Not if you're a real man. All right, just go. Just kidding. If you like cats, I'm okay with you. And dogs. We know that we just have to play our parts and don't nobody give a damn about our broken hearts. Yeah. As a man, we gotta pave our way. Our only function is to work and slave. There's no respect for you if you ain't paid. You're disregarded as a human and you can't complain. And if you ever make it up and actually reach that place and find a woman that you love and give her your last name, you'll feel the things that you provide is only why she stays. And when you try to explain, you'll say, I can't. All right. He's very much talking about how the world views men. And he's damn right when it talk, when he, when he when he talks about how the world views men, they don't give a damn about our broken hearts. They, the world doesn't care. In general, the world don't care about what you're feeling. The world doesn't care about what I'm going through. And really, the only thing the world recognizes is if you got the bag. 
if you're provide if you got the money and, and you slave in a way and there's so many people that slave away for the bag because they're trying to get the respect and the admiration of the world and then he goes on to say if you find a woman to take your last name you're always going to wonder if the only reason she stays is because you're providing but man there's a juxtaposition on this and that is if you found your identity in Christ and you've married a good Christian woman I know that there are people that care about my broken heart my savior my savior Jesus Christ cares about my broken heart and my wife God bless that woman for hanging out with me cares about my broken heart and they care more a lot more about me and everything else and just what I can provide materially but man that does not that does not abdicate my responsibility to not only provide materially but to be the spiritual head of my home to be the protector yikes he's mid spitting facts baby all right dax country dax i'm liking country dax explain you say i can hide myself i don't expect you to understand i just hope i can explain what it's like to be it's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Don't give up, keep fighting As a man our son is our horizon And our father's actions play a role And we end up like them So they can't let us see them hurt Cause we'll embody what they do and start a generational curse No wonder most men are so depressed All the things that they can't express They go to war, get thrown on the shelf Then go back to war with their mental health Then grab that bottle and ask for help Try to pull themselves out of hell Then fall back down and then realize That they're gonna have to do with themselves It's the circle of life As a man you provide They don't know what you're worth Till the day that you die And that's when they start crying That's why we feel we can't hide ourselves. All right. Wow. Okay. He went through a whole lot there. What he said, what the, the impact that we have, not just on our sons, but on our children, man, the world is waking up to the reality of just how important a man in the house is without a present father in the home. Your sons are on a pipeline to prison and your daughters are on a pipeline to promiscuity. And that's why as men, we have to stay in the home. We have to be present. We have to fulfill our God-given duties to be the protector, to be the spiritual head, to be the provider, to teach our kids about the love of Christ and to show that love through us, to be there for them, to wrap our arms around them when they're hurting and even wrap our arms around them when they're being disobedient little turds. Because man, uh, as a father of a seven and a five and a three-year-old, there are times when they are just, man, they are the most selfish, ungrateful little wretches. But that's our job to teach them how not to be that. They're not going to learn it anywhere else. And they need a father to wrap his arms around them and say, even when you do the wrong thing, I still love you. And that sometimes means that we've got to go battle demons internally. And that means you've got to find a good woman who you can battle those demons, who will get in the foxhole with you and fight those demons. And to get in a foxhole with you and remind you that who you are in Christ and that God loves you and that he has your back. So that you don't have to go to a whiskey bottle for help. So you don't have to pull yourself up that the three of you can become a threefold cord. Wow, this is awesome. Dax, Dax. We don't expect you to understand. We just hope we can explain what it's like to be.
Dax spitting some deep truth there. Yikes. I like country Dax. That was dope. I was expecting, I was expecting hard hidden rap, but man, he can sing and he's got just the right amount of twang too. But wow, that was awesome. And what a reminder it is to be the struggles that we men go through that most of the world doesn't care about and oftentimes doesn't see because we won't let them because we're bound and determined to be the role models for our family that they need us to be. But sometimes that means we suffer in silence. And if you're a man, I hope you've got either some other men or and a good wife that you can confide in and who can point you back to Jesus because that's the only way we ever win this fight is with Christ at our back with the Holy Spirit. That's the only way we win. We can't do it on our own. We need God. And man, this is such a great song, such a great reminder. And it's such a great battle call to men to stand up and be the man that you were called to be, be the father and the husband that you were called to be. The reason our world is in such turmoil and distress right now is because For the last 60 years, men have abdicated our responsibilities. We have not stood up in front of our homes. We have not said, no, not in my house, this doesn't go down. They haven't stood up and said, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. But this call, it's a clarion call. Come on, men, let's do it. Let's band together. Let's unify and let's be the men that we were called to be. Man, I hope you enjoyed that because that was awesome. I love that. I love Country Dax. I'm going to check, see if I can check out some more country Dax. I also like rapping Dax too. So until then, until we check out some more Dax, just remember that God is good. He is sovereign and it'll all be good in the end. Hey, if it's not yet good, it's not yet the end. Until I catch you next time, peace out.